Gross. Just like Dylan said, Wanda, let's go, baby! Let's go! So, thank you, Minzy, for sending me this article here. So, Shirley Finkel has revealed that a signed contract will, in fact, be returned to Matchroom, Eddie Hearn, Anthony Joshua, on Friday. And this is what Shirley Finkel had to say about it all. First of all, I would like to make it clear that Deontay Wilder wants this fight more than Anthony Joshua does, which is evidenced by the fact that Wilder accepted a flat purse for this fight, which is unheard of for a fight of this magnitude. He also has accepted to fight Anthony Joshua in the UK, while Anthony Joshua did not accept the $50 million offer, plus a percentage to fight Wilder in the US. Eddie thinks I dislike him. He's wrong. I just have a difference of opinion with him of what a fact is. When I state something as a fact, I have written proof to back it up. I dare Eddie to do the same. To clear up one other fallacy, Eddie knows that they have a written term sheet from us which details our $50 million offer for Anthony Joshua to fight Deontay Wilder in the US. We have never received from them a response to this term sheet. Below is the correct chronology of where we are with the contract for Deontay Wilder Anthony Joshua mega fight. On June the 11th, 2018, Deontay Wilder accepted Matchroom's offer to fight Anthony Joshua in the UK. This took Matchroom by surprise, never thinking that Wilder would accept the below market offer. Shortly after, Eddie Hearn went public saying that would, we would receive a contract by Friday the 15th of June, when in fact we did not receive a contract until late on Monday. June the 18th. On Tuesday, June the 19th, we requested a clarification of two points. They did not respond. I requested them again on Thursday, on June the 21st, and we finally received a response on Friday, June the 22nd. Two days later, on Sunday, June the 24th, I sent them a letter acknowledging Eddie's email of June the 22nd, telling them that they will have the contract back by Friday, June the 29th. Since the contract did not state the date or venue, I asked for that information. These are the facts and Matchroom will have the contracts back to them by Friday the 29th of June. So that is Shirley Finkel's statement or Shirley Winkle if you like. So again I mean you know they keep going on about it's 50 million and this has been gone over and over and over. It's boring okay. Very very simple. Joshua is not getting that much less to fight in the UK okay. He really isn't. So why you keep keep going on about it, 50 million, no idea. And also, it's about undisputed on British soil. That's all it is. If this fight was a just a regular unification fight, as in, had he not fought Parker yet, and he would have fought Wilder, then yes, he probably would have accepted the 50 million to go to the US. But that's what it is. But regardless of all that, why even mention the 50 million? Okay? But either way, he's going to sign a contract and return it on Friday the 29th so in four days time so that's great news right so those who say that Eddie Hearn has been lying that he hasn't got a contract that as in Wilder hasn't got a contract well again in your face suckers because he's got a contract so at last we're going to get some good news right and but again you know he has to have his, like his little digs not not only with the 50 million but the fact that he's saying that um it took Matchroom by surprise that Deontay Wilder would accept the offer. Well, it took him by surprise, maybe, because he took four weeks to accept it. And he says it's a below-the-market flat fee. Below the market? Deontay Wilder is averaging just over a million per fight. And yet he was originally offered 12.5 million, and that has been increased to whatever it may be, rumoured between 15 and 20 million. So he's been overpaid. You know, he's getting around about 10 times more than his average wage. Is Joshua getting that? No, he's not. So again, either way. But all this comes to a head. When this fight will be, rumoured to be October or November, makes no difference. Let's get it on. Wilder, bring that belt to the UK. Shine it up real, real nice. And don't even bother booking a return flight with that belt. Because you won't need to pay the extra baggage. So at least you're going to save a couple of quid for your return flight. eh? Because you're going to be leaving that in the UK. I guarantee it. So either way. Shirley Finkel has said that he will be receiving a contract. Or sending back the contract on Friday. And here comes all the Wilder fanboys coming out of their videos real real soon. 
saying that um, Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn got smoked out, all this complete garbage crap that they've been going on with. And now they're going to start crapping themselves. So again, thank you very much, Minzy, for sending me this um, article here from the World Boxing News. Everybody else, drop your thoughts below. Click that thumbs up, subscribe. And we'll probably see you October, November time for Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder for Undisputed. Drop your thoughts below, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.